Hi, I'm here at the Bernie's Volunteers Coffee Shop office. Is that what I did? I say right? Pretty much. Bernie's Coffee Shop Volunteer Office. There you go. We got it. And tonight we're having a special event for Jill Stein, right? And can you tell me what's happening? Uh, so first of all, tell me your name. I'm Jeremy White, I'm grassroots organizer and activist with uh, California for Progress and previously with Team Bernie LA. So this was a Bernie headquarters and then after Bernie dropped out you turned it into? Just a progressive um, grassroots kind of organization headquarters. We have brand new Congress, we have brand new City LA, a bunch of different organizations coming out here to you know, keep the movement moving. Okay, and so what's happening tonight? Tonight we're having a meet and greet with Jill Stein, who's running for president, if you didn't know. <laughs> You're kidding. Yeah. Now, uh, I, I was told if I don't vote for Hillary, I'm sexist. You're also a fascist pig. Yeah. You want Donald Trump to be your secret lover. So are you supporting Jill because you're a secret misogynist? Yes. That's what I thought. <laughs> That's the only reason. That's what I thought. Uh, no, it's, on a serious note, what would be some of the policies that Jill has that really that you like? Ending uh, pointless wars overseas, uh, college... Uh, Sorry, shit. Um, abolish student debt? Yes, student debt. She's going to abolish student debt and she's going to work towards free college tuition. Um, she's also working towards uh, American citizenship, immigration reform. She's amazing. She's she's all around progressive and in she's fact, keeping the revolution moving. In fact, I think she's getting ready. To, is she getting ready to speak? Yes, yeah. let's go. Okay, so let's go watch. So I'm standing here with a former Bernie delegate. What is your name? John Schnitzer. And uh, tell me, your name. were you a Bernie delegate too? Yes. Oh, two Bernie <laughs> delegates. <laughs> Shawnee Badger. So now, tell me, what is it about? Now, are you voting for Jill Stein, both of you? Yes, absolutely. I'm still figuring it out, but you know what? It's amazing to hear her talk because everything she says is something I believe in. You know, that's what's so amazing about her. It's just, it's hard to be really hopeful. You know, after being so hardcore for Bernie and seeing how things worked out, and then I stayed at the hotel where the um, where the super delegates stayed. I stayed. I stayed. Uh, did you? Yes, I did. I stayed where the lobbyists were, and I met all the different lobbyists. What was the name of that hotel? The CQ Hotel. I still have the room key because okay. it was so cool. I'm like, <laughs> everyone looked at me like, "What's this Bernie guy doing here?" I'm like, "And got a corporate account. Ooh, you didn't see that coming." And uh, it was kind of crazy to be able to talk to them. And, have a lot of like one-on-one -on -one time talking with those guys because I would ask them things like, "Hey, is there a way we can get Hillary to sign something that's against fracking, against TPP?" And they were like, "No, but we can get it to say anything." <laughs> no. And I was like, I was just shocked at hearing that, and then meeting with different politicians and hearing what what they had to say about it. Kind of, well, it's a game; you got to figure it out. And Bernie was different because Bernie, you know, he's all about his heart. He's, you know, not about playing the game. You know, it was just kind of, it was a heartbreaking experience because I really fell in love with Bernie. Yeah. And just everything he stands for and how he's always in the correct side of history. So it's, it's what's so holding awesome. you? What's keeping you from endorsing uh, for going for Jill All Out right now? Because everything she says, I agree with too. You know what? Nothing, nothing, nothing ideological at all. Everything she has to say, I completely agree with. So what are you waiting for? Oh my God. Oh my God. What am I waiting for? It's not that I'm waiting for anything. Like I really... I really do believe in her. I really do believe in okay. everything she has to say. Okay. Here's the question. Will the vote count? If I vote, will the vote count? You know, it's like, the, the thing I'm afraid of is um, not any of it is, what, half the voting machines are put together by mm -hmm. lobbyists from right. uh, Democrats or Republicans. You know, and I'll, I'll start getting really hopeful when I start hearing about all the Green Party lobbyists that are going in there and doing... I just became... I got, I got really cynical after um, Philly, yeah. so... Well, let me talk to someone who's... Uh, <laughs> sure, sure. Hey, look, not, but, I, but, but I'll be honest with you, I'm all, I'm all for her, and I love Jill. Love Jill. Know, what is it about Jill's policies that you like so much? Um, oh, my gosh. Everything. She's, she's everything about that everything that Bernie stood for and and then some you know like she especially with like with like military because Bernie wasn't speaking out against like you know Obama's drone program and uh, that and Jill calls for like totally ending that shutting down a lot of the bases and I love that because I'm very uh, anti-war so yeah yeah so we have over a thousand bases around the world right now. How can we afford that? Nobody ever asked, nobody ever asked that question. <laughs> it's insane. We can't. We, we need to, if we stop putting so much money into the military, we can put it where it really counts, like education and healthcare. And I love that that's what Jill 
talks about doing. No, but you're so. You, but you don't. You're you're uh, not supporting Hillary probably because she's a woman, right? <laughs> exactly. I'm I'm very sexist. Um, no, I actually yeah I joked about that. Um, I mean, if you're a real feminist, you would support Hillary, no? Yeah, totally. I gotta vote for the woman because she's a woman. It's just like it's just like uh, uh, Madeline Albright, I believe it was said that uh, women who don't help each other have a special place in hell. So I guess I'm going to hell. I guess so. I hope you. <laughs> and, and I hope that that uh, flame is uh, is from oil. <laughs> Yes, it will probably be, Jimmy. <laughs> so what do you, uh, what, now you wrote an article uh, recently that I retweeted. I read it and retweeted it. Uh, I was a little high, so I forgot what was in it. <laughs> so tell everybody. Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, my article is called, I'm a Bernie backer and I refuse to support Hillary Clinton, and it's in the Hill. And uh, in it, I list the uh, many reasons I won't support Hillary, and I'm only gracing the surface of <laughs> Hillary Clinton. Um, but yeah, a lot of the reasons she won't ban fracking, she won't uh, put a, implement a carbon tax, she is seeking the endorsement of Henry Kissinger and um, La, La La Ponte, what's his first yeah, name? Yeah, Ponte. So what's wrong with Henry Kissinger and Nagra Ponte? Um, they're war criminals. And so you gotta kill, you gotta crack a few eggs and make an omelet. Um, <laughs> so Everybody's a war criminal, right? I mean, Colin Powell's a war criminal. But Jill Stein's not a war criminal. Well, she just hasn't had a chance. <laughs> I'm here with a young cartoonist. I don't know if that's what they call it. He's an animator. Right? Yeah, anime, I write comedy like you. Your name is Shane. What's your last name, Shane? Barbara. No way. <laughs> I know your sister Hannah. <laughs> yes. Now Shane, you did a you did a, uh, a, a cartoon about Bernie that included the Young Turks, correct? Yeah, including you, including me. Now that kind of it kind of fucked things up when Bernie endorsed Hillary Clinton, right? For that cartoon, it did. But I still made it made do without that detail. <laughs> That was, I mean, that's that's what that's when you know you're an artist when you can creatively get around yeah. him endorsing the person you're trying to skewer. I know. So uh, yeah. yeah, I'm working on an, the next. Like if Churchill endorsed Hitler, it was kind of tough to make that cartoon work. Exactly. Yeah. What, what do you think? Do you think it worked? I don't think it worked, Jim. But <laughs> no, I think it was great. I loved it. I loved it. No, it was great. Do you think they can work? Yeah. Shane, why are you uh, supporting Jill? She's everything Bernie was and more. She's a little, I think, <laughs> she's a little more articulate than uh, Bernie was about Hillary's flaws. Um, and, uh, That's just because she's sexist. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and she goes a little further than Bernie wanting to cancel student debt. Um, like her Green New Deal's a little further than Bernie. Uh, went and so yeah, there's no reason not to. Why, why did she, Bernie? But I don't like that she makes up stuff. Like she said, we're spending a trillion dollars on nuclear weapons. Like that's not true, is it? Uh, no, it is actually. We actually. Um, are you lying? Because uh, the government just lost track of six point five trillion dollars they spent on the military. Oh, you're such a downer. <laughs> it's a great country. Yeah. Why do you say stuff like that? <laughs> military great. <laughs> The military sucks. No, the military's great. The military's great. <laughs> Have you ever been to a football game? Yeah, yeah. And they fly the thing over. They fly the thing and they all stand up and they pledge allegiance. That's right. Yeah. They don't take they don't take applications, they take commitments. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing like killing kids. A couple million signing bonuses. How is no? I, I asked Jill this, but let me ask you guys. How is Jill going to be an effective politician if she has no experience taking money from corporations <laughs> or killing people? Uh, it's going to be very really tough. I mean, that seems to be a prerequisite these days. So yeah. we're, we're going to have to change that somehow. I mean, maybe if she just killed one person tonight on her way out, right? <laughs> oh my God. We'll, we'll, we'll fake it. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah all right. They fake it till you make it. Yeah. They, they, they faked our votes. Oh. They faked our votes. Oh. <laughs> my registration was switched along with like, 3 million people in California. Yeah, my mom, my dad, my wife, first time voter. They were trying to give you a provisional And now vote. they want my vote now? Oh. They didn't need it. You know, so she came on without her votes easily. She did. You know, so she brags about a 4 million vote lead. And there's 9 million people that got purged that yeah. one thing they had in common was that they voted for Bernie. Yeah. Or wanted to vote for Bernie because some of them got switched to Republican, yeah. or didn't even get an opportunity to vote for Bernie. Right. So you know, if she really is a backer of our country and our votes and you know, a powered American, she'd have stood beside us and said, "Hey, we know your vote didn't get counted. Let's do a revote. You know, let's win fairly." Oh, why did DNC didn't do anything? Obama didn't do anything. So the country was okay with this coronation, but the, you know, not the country, but the politics of the country. You know, the country is demanding change. We're, we're so desperate. We'll vote for anybody but Hillary or Trump right now. But at least we have somebody with substance that we can still go for. Jill is the same as Bernie, and she has no limitations on being progressive because we had a vote to be progressive in the Democratic Party, which is supposed to be the most progressive party of the only two choices that we support. Uh, now, you're able to you know, support Hillary, obviously, because of your white privilege. <laughs> yeah, well, just because I'm whiter than my skin doesn't mean. <laughs> yeah, I'm whiter than Shawnee, that's for sure. I won't take all my clothes to prove it. But um, well, you're probably rich, right? Uh, so yeah. it doesn't really I'm affect rich. you. You know what makes me rich? My son and my daughter. And that's where I fight for. That's my real value. I mean, you probably have a lot of money. That's why you don't, you're going to vote for Jill, right? I didn't even meet my whole GoFundMe. I was asking reporters like you to give me five bucks because I didn't get my GoFundMe when they were, when they were asking me to question me over, over there in Philly. You know, but not you because you're on the right side of the report. But if it was Fox or somebody, I was asking them for some money if they were going to report me. That's for fun. This is confusing because I'm always told that guys like the only people supporting Jill Stein are white guys with money, of privilege, who and but but it's people like you who are going to get hurt if Trump is president or something. Right. right. I guess I've been promoted to white privilege. <laughs> Go Jill. <laughs> No, I, I, I don't think it's even white privilege anymore. It's, it's a battle of the rich and the poor. Because you know, if you were as poor as me, you would go through all this stuff I'm going through.